Hi guys, my name is Arlene and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and spending a couple of minutes of your day with me. I just wanted to come on here and do a little uh, video, makeup, to not tutorial, but makeup video and just create a little look for you guys and hopefully you guys won't enjoy. And I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. I'm learning how to film and I'm learning how to set everything up. Lighting might change because it's kind of cloudy out here and I'm using natural lighting so bear with me things will get better and let's jump right in all right guys the first thing that I'm gonna do is put this hourglass veil mineral primer on my face I have a little sample that I got from Sephora a little while ago and we're just gonna put that all over the face And rub, rub, rub. And then we're going to go in with our Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation. I am in the shade Y365. And I'm just going to put a couple of smears on my face. And we're going to try to <laughs> do this a little quickly because my camera likes to shut off on me. Alright, this is the Tarte little found Kabuki double-ended brush that I got from their um, Christmas gift set. I love this little brush. It does me good. And I'm just going to buff that out. Hopefully I'm in frame. I'm going to bring this mirror in a little closer because mama can't see. And then I'm going to go in for concealer with the Super Stay Better Skin Corrector from Maybelline. This is old school little um, concealer and I have the shade light medium number 30 I like this guy he's he's pretty good and we're just gonna put that on our eyes it'll brighten it up under there I don't like to soak my eyes with concealer I don't feel like I need too much of it there you go and I'm going to take my beauty blender and pounce that in there for a flawless look. I'm not going to go crazy under here. I don't really need crazy coverage for what I'm doing today. I don't think. Because I always say I'm going to do something natural and it comes out a little darker than I want it to. I think that's good. What do you guys think? You think I need more? It's fine. <laughs> then I'm going to set under there with my powder, which for some reason I can't find. Found it. <laughs> it's the uh, um, Airspun Loose Face Powder and Translucent Extra Coverage. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on the pink beauty blender and just put some of that under there just to set it nicely and I'm gonna let any excess bake there all right then I'm going to go in With this little Eco Tools brush, I don't know what it's called. I've had this for years and it's still holding on good. And I'm going to bronze my face. I have the, uh, what is this called? The Ultra Bronze from Revolution Makeup. I don't even know if I said that right, but it's Revolution Makeup Revolution London 
ultra bronze and I'm gonna go in there tap the excess off and bronze this face a little bit I like this bronzer it's like the perfect bronzy shade for me and I just go in the perimeters of my face with it not too much and that's it I don't really contour you guys I'm not a contour type girl I think it's a little too much for me personally. Will I ever contour? Probably just to try it, but honestly, I, I've never really tried it. Okay. Uh, before I go in with my blush, I'm going to go in with the uh, Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. And I, get, I think this color is brown dark brown I don't see the color on here but anyways that's what I'm gonna go with for my brows just I have eyebrows so I don't really need to go in too heavy with it and I'm just gonna fill in any areas that are sparse and I'm just gonna do it really loosely I don't need like precision I like that like fluffy I guess look all right and with the uh, other side the little spoolie I'm gonna soften that up a little bit my eyebrows are a little messy that's okay though I guess before we go into blush up brush this little bit of bakage off and I'm going to just take a little tiny bit more of the uh, of the air spun powder and just excuse me I'm having issues dust this all over my face all right now I guess I'm gonna leave blush for last I'm going to go in with the Fiona Styles Art Artist Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to work with this today. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna grab my Milani Eyeshadow Primer and smear that all over my eyes. You guys, I have been attempting to record <laughs> God knows how long. I've created video after video and something always goes wrong. And I'm really, really hoping that this one comes out decent at least, you know. And it's a little discouraging. But I think we got this today. It's not perfect. But at least I'm doing it, you know. All right that's there and I'm going to go in with another excuse me I'm out of frame another little brush from that tart um, little set that I got for Christmas and it's another little double on this side it has this little tiny um, head right here and then a really rounded brush which I love to pack on the um, well, not pack on, but, you know, put my base, eyeshadow base on first. And I'm going to go in with this really light color here at the bottom corner. And set that primer. I like this brush because it kind of covers a large surface area of my eyes. And I'm going to rub whatever I have 
left or under my eye. Next step, I'm going to move this mirror. I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm going to go with the Sephora number 10 Pro Crease Brush. I love this little brush. I'm going to go in with the color next to it, which is like a nice mauve color. I say mauve. I know some people say something else. <laughs> Top off the excess and deposit most of the color in this outer corner here. And then rub the rest into the crease. I love this palette because I love these colors. I am very attracted to mauves and purples and eggplant shades and this was just like a perfect little palette for me. Then go on the other eye. Hopefully you guys can see, man. I'd be so upset if you can't. There's that, nice and fluffed out. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller is this about the same yeah, it's a little smaller this is also a brush from Sephora it's the crease shadow brush number 73 and I'm gonna go in just mm, yeah I'm just gonna go in with a shade the third shade on the top row which is slightly darker than the shade I was using before and Put that more, no, put that in the crease, but not as blown out as we did with the other one. For my lid shade, I think I'm going to go with something champagne -y, something that'll brighten up this eye a little bit. And that's it. I'm just. Add a little tad more here on the outer edge. And the second eye. And since I have hooded eyes, I kind of like to look straight to see if you can see the colors I'm putting onto my eyes because my eyes will eat up any color in the crease. So I got to blow it out a little bit more. At least that's my technique. <laughs> and I might go in with this color right here at the end, at the bottom. And I'm going to pack that in. I don't know which shade of brush should I use. I'm going to use this little unicorn brush that I got from Unicorn. I can't remember the brand, but I'll list it down below. Um, they came out with these beautiful brushes. Look at this guy. Come on, this is gorgeous. And I'm going to use anyways. I'm going to use that little shader brush I got from them. And go in there with that really pretty grayish, I don't know what, I guess pewter type color. And put that right in the lid.
I guess if you want to go a little more intense, you can go. I'm going to see what it looks like. I never tried doing this. going to go with my Max Fix Plus. And take that shadow. And put it on there. And it's just a little deeper. It's not like real sparkly or anything like that guys i am so sorry my camera cut off i had no idea i wish that this camera would have like some kind of beeping thing on it where if it shuts off it lets you know i'm gonna go in with my tortoise <coughs> blush set and i'm gonna go in with my sonia kashuk the number rubbed off but it's their little tulip shaped brush for blush and i'm gonna go in with love this pretty um it's like a neutrally peachy shade. I really like it. Hopefully it goes with this look. And I'm just going to put that on there. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Dream too. It's called Dream. And mix that in there. Oh, it's getting brighter. All right, now I'm going to go back with this uh, brush that I used to put powder on my face and just brush over my blush because I feel like it's a little too intense. So this will soften it up a little bit. All right, guys. we got to hurry before this camera shuts off. Um, For lips. Uh, I'm gonna go over my lips with this NYX or NYX lip liner. I have no idea what this shade is called ever. That's what it says on here ever, so that must be the name. And go over this real quick. Looks like we're going to go over all our lip with it. Then we're going to go in with this um, lipstick from Essence called Cool Nude number 5. And that is it, guys. Oh, I forgot highlighter. Hello. We cannot go on without highlighter. I'm going to go in with... Mm, that's too obnoxious. I don't know. I'm going to just try this Jumbo Kabuki, in, Kabuki Fan SS023 brush from Crown Brush that we got in last month's um, Maxi Charm. And I'm going to go in with the Ofra Highlighter. This Ofra Highlighter, by the way, I use in my inner corner. And I also highlight it with it on my upper brow. And this is pretty. Put it right here. Put it over my nose, a little here, and a tiny bit on my chin. And with my finger, since I forgot to put it on my cutest bone, I'm just going to put just a little bit up there. And I think, guys, I'm done.
All right, guys, that completes this look. I'm sorry that a big chunk of it got cut off, you guys. I have to figure this camera out or I need someone to be in here with me. But for now, we're going to go with this video. I hope that you like it. And more to come. Better quality, better backgrounds. We're just starting and I would love for you guys to join me on this journey. Please let me know what you'd like to see as far as like the background, lighting, or what sort of makeup look, anything you guys want. Um, your suggestions are more than welcomed. Um, anyways guys, let me keep this outro short and I guess I will see you next time. Bye.